Hey everyone, I'm your English teacher Sophie and in this video I'll explain a new grammar lesson um, about adjectives. So pay attention to what I'm going to say and explain and let's get it started in here. Let's read the objectives and activities. Identify adjectives. Locate the noun that the adjective is describing. Recognize an adjective in a sentence. Notice that the adjectives come before the nouns and identify articles and use them correctly. We are going to start with the adjectives. To know more about adjectives, let's watch the following video. Learning upgrade. An adjective is a word that tells you more about a noun. Look at that tall tree. Tall is the adjective that tells you that the noun tree is tall. Mm -hmm. My house has a red roof. Red is the adjective that tells you that the noun roof is red. Mm -hmm. Hot soup tastes good. Hot is the adjective that tells you that the noun soup is hot. Mm -hmm. An adjective is a word that tells you more about the noun. So, what is an adjective? An adjective is a word that describes a noun or tells you more about the noun. It usually comes before the noun it describes. So, let me give you an example. Jane is a clever girl. I'm describing Jane. I'm describing the girl by saying she's clever. So clever is an adjective and it describes Jane. Yeah, and as we said, it usually comes before the noun it describes. So it's describing the noun girl and it comes before the noun it describes. See? Yes, let's continue. Some adjectives are descriptive. They tell what kind of person place, animal, or thing the noun is. Hmm, let me give you some examples and explain more. One, Alex is a good fellow. I'm describing Alex by saying that he's a good fellow. So good is an adjective. Hmm? And it's describing a person. Two, it is an amazing place. I'm describing the place. I'm telling you more about the place by saying it's an amazing place, right? Yeah, so amazing is an adjective and it's describing a place. Roxy is a cute puppy. I'm describing the dog by saying it's cute. So cute is an adjective. I bought heavy tables for my kitchen. I'm describing the tables by saying they are heavy. So heavy is an adjective. Let's continue. Some adjectives tell how many. Example, I lifted four boxes all by myself. How many boxes did I lift? Four. Four is an adjective. It tells how many. Okay? And some adjectives are limiting, such as this, that, these, and those. Let me give you an example. I think Daniel will like this design. This is an adjective. Hmm? Limiting adjective. Let me tell you the difference between this, that, these, and those. I use this and that with the singular nouns. When I have a singular noun, I can use this or that. I use this when the noun, when this thing or person, animal or place is near me, it's close. And I use that when it is far, it's not beside me, it's not close, okay? And I use these and those 
It was plural nouns. Hmm? Two or more. And these for the near ones and those for the far ones. Far nouns. Okay? So this and that for the singular. These and those for the plural nouns. Now let's solve page 126 in your grammar books. Ready? Yes. Let's read. Draw one line under each adjective. So I have to underline the adjective. Circle the noun that the adjective describes. I have to circle the noun. Okay, let's read the first one. Gramps has a brown horse. I'm describing the horse by saying it's brown. So brown is an adjective and horse is a noun. Do you agree? Let's see, yes, that's right. Two, Rex is the name of this big animal. I'm telling you more about this animal by saying it's big. I'm describing it. So big is an adjective and animal is a noun. Let us check. That's right. And what did we say? We said that an adjective usually comes before the noun it describes. Let us check here. Brown is an adjective and it comes before the noun, which is horse. And big is an adjective and it comes before the noun, which is animal in here. Okay? Let's continue. I'm a good helper when I visit Gramps. I'm describing the helper and I'm saying good. I'm talking about myself actually. I'm saying I'm a good helper. <laughs> So good is an adjective and helper is a noun. Don't worry guys, we are going to check the answers in a bit, in a moment, okay? I feed Rex juicy apples. Yum, 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 yum. Juicy is a what? Adjective and it's describing what? The apples. Apples is a noun. Gramps lets me polish the heavy saddle. But wait, what's the meaning of saddle? Let us check. Ooh, that's the saddle. It's a seat fastened on the back of a horse or other animal for riding. See, I'm telling you more about it. I'm describing it by saying it's heavy. So heavy is an adjective and saddle is a noun. Here you go, easy peasy. Seven, in June, I will help him paint the old barn. I'm describing the barn by saying it's old, so old is an adjective and barn is a noun. Gramps, let me pick out the new color. I'm describing the color and I'm saying it's new, so new is an adjective and color is a noun. I chose a bright red. Mm. I'm telling you more about this red, so I'm saying it's bright. Bright is an adjective and red is a noun. I think Rex will like that color. Remember this, that, these, those? So that is an adjective and color is a noun. Let us check what our answers. Okay, brown horse, that's right. Big animal, yes. Good helper, uh-huh. Long rides, ooh, did we miss that? I guess, let's read. I take Rex out for long rides. I'm describing the rides and I'm saying they are long. So long is an adjective and rides, this word is a noun, okay? Juicy apples, Ta -da, that's right, have a saddle. Old barn, new color, bright red, and that color. Uh-huh, oh yeah, we did it, uh-huh, oh yeah. Now we are going to talk about articles. And to know more about articles, let's watch the following video together. Article A is seen with nouns that begin with consonants. 
consonants. For example, a bus, a cow, a girl, a zoo. The article N likes to listen to nouns beginning with vowel sound. For example, an umbrella, an octopus, an ink bottle, an elephant. Come, let's look at a few sentences where these three article brothers appear together. That is a stone. There is an umbrella on the stone. Okay. So, the articles A, N, and F are special adjectives. So, they are adjectives and they are special adjectives. When do I use A? Use A before a non specific singular noun. When I say singular, only one singular noun and it's non-specific any noun that begins with a consonant letter with a consonant uh-huh it has to be non-specific any noun it has to be singular only one and it has to begin with a consonant letter let me give you an example a car car any car okay and it is only one car singular and let me see, it begins with a consonant. C is a consonant letter, right? Yes, let's continue. Now, what about an? Use an before a non-specific singular noun that begins with a vowel letter. Hmm, so the noun has to be singular, only one, non-specific, any noun, and it has to begin with a vowel letter. Let me give you an example. An egg, one egg, any egg. And it starts with a vowel letter. C, E is a vowel. We still have one article, which is what? That. Use that before singular and plural. You can use it before singular and plural nouns, but under one condition. When? when referring to something specific. Mm -hmm. I'm specifying here. Let me give you an example. The first game. Mm. I'm not talking about any game. I'm talking about the first game. I'm referring to something specific. Hmm? The first one. See, easy peasy. Now let's solve page 127 in your grammar books. Let's start. Write a an or a to finish each sentence. Let's start. One, I went to see first game of the World Series. I'm referring to something specific. First game of the World Series. So, what do I have to choose? A, an or the? The first game of the World Series, because I'm specifying, I'm referring to something specific, the first game, okay? Two, I wrote essay about my exciting day. Let's check, essay. It starts with the vowel letter E. What do I have to use? And it's singular, one essay. So I have to use an, I wrote an essay. Right? Yeah, I wrote an essay about my exciting day. I used an because essay starts with the vowel letter E. Okay? Let's continue. I took baseball with me in hopes of getting it signed. One baseball. What do I have to use? I took a baseball? Yes. Don't worry, we're going to check the answers in a bit. Four. After game, I looked around for my favorite picture. Any game or this game in specific? 
this game in specific. So I have to use the after the game. Great, five. I didn't see him, but I did get first baseman's autograph. What do you think? I get the first. That's right, referring to something specific. Six. I told him that I was big fan, one fan. I was a big fan. Seven. He asked me if I was good student. If I was a good student. Okay? Eight. I told guy that I always did my very best. I'm talking about this guy in specific. I'm specifying. I'm not talking about any guy. So I told the guy, that's right. Nine, he shook hands with me and said that I was awesome kid. Let's check awesome. This adjective starts with a vowel letter, vowel A. So I have to use an, I was an awesome kid. Do you agree? Yes. 10. On our way home, I smiled as I thought about best day ever. I'm specifying this day and I'm saying it's the best day ever. Here you go, I answered. The best day ever. Let's check the answers. I went to see the first game, that's right. I wrote an essay, that's right. I took a baseball after the game. Get the first baseman's autograph a big fan, a good student, that guy, I was an awesome kid, and finally, the best day ever. Wow, we are so good. Thank you for watching. Love you.